from the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi there, I'm Andrew Bucklow. And I'm Bronte Coy. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Monday the 4th of July. We'll start in New South Wales. A rescue mission is underway for 21 crew members stranded on board a container ship at sea. The ship lost power and is in danger of crashing into cliffs in the Royal National Park. Rescuing the crew members by helicopter was deemed too risky, so now two tugboats have been dispatched to pull the vessel further out to coast. Overseas now and three people are confirmed dead and three more are in a critical condition after a gunman opened fire in a shopping centre in Denmark this morning. The 22-year-old male suspect, who was armed with a large hunting rifle, surrendered to police when they arrived on the scene. There were a lot of visitors near the shopping centre at the time for a Harry Styles concert at a nearby Royal Arena. That concert was eventually cancelled. Moving on to Burger News now. Yes, Burger News. We should make this a permanent segment. <laughs> McDonald's has confirmed its plant-based burger called the McPlant has arrived in Australia. The burger features a patty made from peas, rice, potatoes and beetroot. It doesn't sound delicious when you say it like that, but I'm sure it is. And was co-developed with vegan meat substitute producer Beyond Meat. For now, it's only available in Victorian stores. Oh, bloody Victorians getting all the fun. Uh, to sport now, Nick Kyrgios and Stefanos Tsitsipas have both been fined after their fiery Wimbledon clash on the weekend. Tsitsipas was hit with a $10,000 sanction for hitting a ball into the crowd, while Kyrgios was fined fourth thousand dollars for an audible obscenity. Kyrgios was also fined 10 grand for unsportsmanlike conduct during his first round match. What an expensive tournament for him. Wasn't it? We'll be back in a moment. In showbiz news, Amber Heard has asked a US judge to throw out her losing verdict in the defamation lawsuit brought by Johnny Depp, claiming the evidence doesn't hold up. Lawyers for Heard, who was ordered to pay her ex-husband more than $10 million, say the judgment wasn't supported by evidence presented during the blockbuster trial last month. Imagine if we have to go through that trial all over again. Oh, God, no. Uh, Finally, to music news, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers are coming to Australia. They'll perform in Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne and Perth in January and February next year, and they're going to be supported by Post Malone. That actually sounds awesome. I'm excited. Mm. They haven't been here since 2019. Actually, just exciting to have concerts back on the agenda. That's true, but you're a mum now, as if you go to concerts. (laughs) As I said it, I was like, I hope it's a matinee. That's the latest (laughs) from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Follow or subscribe to From the Newsroom wherever you get your podcasts.